In this video, I'm going to show you how to get this Windows Nitro Type Auto Typer on Mac. Normally, it's made for Windows only and it only works on Windows, but I'm going to show you how you can get it on a Mac too. This Auto Typer is one of the most easiest and the most advanced Auto Typers you can find out there. There are only two steps to this, and step one is go to YouTube and search for how to get Windows on Mac. And if you need help choosing the right video, choose the first one by Daniel About Tech. And the title of the video is 2020 How to Run Windows 10 on Mac for free, step by step. Watch the whole video and it will show you how to get Windows on a Mac. And that's all you need to know. Really, I could stop the video right here and next you just follow the instructions on how to download the auto typer. And, and also the method that this video is going to show you is called Boot Camp Assistance, which will take up about 40 gigabytes of your Mac storage. So if you have storage issues, then it might not work for you but there is another way to do it if that's the case and the other way to do it is it's called virtual box so if the first method is not going to work for you then you can try this one so just go to youtube and search for how to install windows 10 on a mac using virtual box the virtual box i think it only it only takes up about five gigabytes probably and maybe probably more it doesn't take up as much storage as the boot the boot camp assistance way Using one of those two methods, try to get Windows on your Mac, and once you have done that, next, well, like I said, I could just stop the video right here and we could just be fine. But I'm gonna show you how to download the Auto Typer and how to use it. Uh, if you just watch the video and you just installed the Windows, you're probably on the Windows right now, but I'm on a Mac right now. But if you are on a Mac, then to switch it to Windows, uh, just restart, click on Restart, Restart, and then hold the Options key. Keep holding it until I tell you to let it go. Keep holding. There we go. Keep holding it until this pops up right here. Now choose Windows, obviously. If you so I'm assuming you've already gone through the setup and stuff after by watching that video I told you to watch. So after you set it up, it's basically logging in into a Windows computer so you just enter in your pen and by the way you don't need to sign up for anything you, like you just need the basic windows uh, windows 10 so there's no need you don't need to pay for anything so that's a plus all right once you have loaded in now in default you will have internet explorer as the browser but go ahead and download chrome so just search for Chrome download and just click on and it's basically straightforward just download Chrome once you have downloaded it just go ahead and launch the app now we're gonna download the auto typer uh, so we'll go to the so we'll go to this website all right here we are these are what the other auto typers that I was talking about like this one edutyping.com uh, there's one for typing.com and there's the nice type one so Go ahead and click on it and then from here is straightforward there there here is where the instructions are first if you haven't already you'll need to go to chrome web store and the add and add the extension tab for monkey to chrome i have already done that and then once you have done that then you'll need to install the script uh, so you'll click on this image right here and you'd click on install but since i've already installed it it, it says already installed so I, got, I guess I could just reinstall it. All right. All right. Now one more thing, and that is to download the auto typer. And to download the auto typer, you just click on this link and click on download. It's only 28 kilobytes, so it's not. So we don't don't worry about storage or anything like that. So you just click on download. I'm not gonna do that right now because I've already done that, so I don't need to do download it again now once you have downloaded the auto typer then go to nitrotype.com and I'm gonna open up the auto typer now uh, so I'm just gonna search for N I which will come up with nitrotype 5.0 I mean 5.2 release uh, and there we go so just double click 
click on run. And if it says unknown publisher, don't worry about it. You're in a good company. So just go ahead and run it anyways. Nothing to worry about. Right, I'm just going to close that now. And there we go. Okay, now make sure you're not logged in on your main account. It's possible to use it on your main account because it's undetectable. But I'm not encouraging you to use it on your main account because it's risky. And especially if it's your first time using it, then if and if you don't know what you're doing, then don't even try to use it on your main account. So if you so to use it, create a new account or just use it as a ghost racer. It's more fun if you do it on a new account. So just go ahead and create a new account. Okay, so open up the auto typer. Now, as you can see, there are four different typing modes. The testing mode is if you just want to see if it works. I'm not gonna finish this race. As you can see, it's working. That's all you need to know. I'm not gonna finish the race because on this account, my words per minute, my average is like 144. So I don't want drop put to keep doing until, oh wait, there's a Wumpus. Hopefully we can beat it. The, the speed is random. So hopefully we'll have a speed that will beat the Wumpus. Yeah, it looks like we're, oh wait. I think I set my speed to 250 or something because it's going, Oh man, I think I messed up. I meant to set it to 150 or 140 or something like that. I think I set it to 250 or something. Okay, that means I'm gonna be banned like here before I finish this video probably. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and close that. It's, st it's still racing by the way. Oh, again, the Wampus. Twice in a row. You can go to Walmart, come back, and it will probably still be, still be going uh, because. And here we are. And then you press in. Uh, you press one. Enter. All right. I'm gonna go to. Oh wait. I set it to do five phrases. So I'm gonna go to sleep while it does that. By the way, so I'm gonna. All right. I'm gonna start the race. I think it's. Oh, do you see that? I just got banned. I, I was getting ready to go. Oh, man. Okay, never mind then. Uh, so I'm just going to have to... I knew I messed up because I think I accidentally said this to be like 245 or something. Yeah. Create account. The achievements thing keeps popping up. It's, it's still typing, by the way. It still types. It doesn't matter if the notification thing pops up or anything like that. But I just had to close it just so you guys can see that it's typing. Perfect. Technically, we're in a race, but with this thing. Oh, okay, close. I just had to close that thing again. Even with the pop-ups, it's still gonna work. It's still gonna type. It doesn't matter, but I just had to close it. So just so you guys can see that it's still typing. 